Well, how about we start with CPUs? Now, we did talk about CPUs a lot last night, but of we course, did. not everybody was there. So we're going to repeat all of that for you here today. And I need to hit... That one. Oh. If I want us on the screen. That one? Sure. Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. The i5 12600K. 179 This is actually $10 cheaper than it was last night on Newegg. Oh. That was 180 This is yeah. one... No, that was 190 This nice. is 180 Normally, this kind of price is the non-K chip. Usually, it'd be like the i5-12400. And that's fine, except the i5-12400 is 6 cores, 12 threads. This is 10 cores, 16 threads for the price of the non-K chip. If you're looking to build something on a budget, that's a heck of a deal. Now, I do think people should stack up to the, ne the next one, which we'll get to here in a second. But, you know, sometimes people have the mindset of, I'm building a placeholder system. I'm going to upgrade to 14th gen. For those of you who don't know, 14th gen Raptor Lake refresh is coming out on LGA 1700. Yep. It's really going to be just 13th gen, but a little bit faster. But, uh, hey, maybe people are waiting for it. Mm -hmm. People want the best chip on the platform. And so maybe people buy a 12600K in order to... Just have something decent, but not spend any more money than they have to before they upgrade to the next chip. That's true. When is Raptor Lake Reflush come? Re reflush. <laughs> I need new flesh. <laughs> when is Raptor Raptor Lake? <laughs> when is it coming? Next year? This year? This year? October. Uh, October. Because that's usually when it happens. August, September, October. Three months. Three months. Yeah. So. Now one might make the argument, if you're going to wait for that, why not just wait? Well, well, maybe somebody's computer died yesterday and they have to build something or they're, or they're, or they're doing this. Oh my gosh. Only iPhone. <laughs> oh dear me. That's more than a, anyway, we're not going there. All right. But if you can afford it, this is worth it. Now, it doesn't have integrated graphics, and maybe that's a decider for people because this does have the integrated graphics. That's true. This is what? I'll let you read it. Oh, the i7-12700KF for 220. And why is that awesome? Why is it awesome? Yes. Because it's a 12700KF. <laughs> you tell them. <sighs> You're the I teller. will train her <laughs> how to do this. I do the short version. He does the very long version. 12 cores, 20 threads, 5 gigahertz, 220 bucks. You're getting, traditionally the i7s are 350-ish, 400. That's not 350, that is... Oh, that's an unbelievably stupid, crazy... That's cheaper than the i5K chips launch at. That's insane. That's almost like when we were talking about the uh, $135 2700. Yeah, that that we did a dedicated stream on that. It was so good. Mm -hmm. This isn't quite that good. If this were 150 bucks, I think I'd get a dedicated <laughs> live stream. Oh, but gosh. at two, well, let me put it this way. I talked about this extensively during the live stream last night for the new egg thing. But again, and I did timestamp it so you can go and check that out. They're awesome. I'm going to assume that people didn't watch. I'm going to make people to go watch that. Okay. So although I'd love the view, but listen to it while you're playing a game. So. We built a new live streaming computer to do this. This is a new setup. You notice the wall doesn't have the sound editing material. My apologies if there's any echo here because we don't I, have... I think it sounds better. I mean, we've got... Well, a, you brought a couple of panels. But yeah, it's, but a they're just, it's a much more open space. Well, and we really, we need to add we stuff do. to the walls. We do. Actually, probably more than anything else, we need to put something on the ceiling, but oh, whatever. Pull down on me. <laughs> <laughs> so I built a new streaming PC. And I used the i7-12700K, which I had on the shelf. I didn't use a KF. I ordered a KF to replace that because that was my only 12700K. And that's what we're streaming on right now. Mm -hmm. And that is a really, really nice machine. Hmm. That still says buffering. It does. Let's hit refresh and see what that does.
YouTube is... It's being YouTube. YouTube is YouTube. In any case, so the 12700KF is an absolutely phenomenal deal. And if any of you, I mean, if you have the means, if you have the money, if you're on a budget and you're going, I've got an i7 6700K, uh, an i7 8700K, I've got a Ryzen 5 um, 1600, well, we're going to talk about that yeah. because there's some Ryzen chips. But true. not everybody wants to upgrade. Maybe they've got, maybe their entire system needs to be replaced. You know, you can upgrade a Ryzen 5 1600 to a Ryzen 7 5700X or a 1500X 3D. But if that system is an El Cheapo system with 16 gigs of slow RAM mm -hmm. with the crappiest $50 B350 motherboard ever and a... And a GTX 1050. And a 500 watt power supply. And a 500 watt power supply and a, and, and you know, a, a 250 gig SATA boot SSD. Everything needs to be replaced. You might just say to heck with it and just replace the entire machine because well, your system would need to support whatever you put in there. That's the only problem with large CPU upgrades. It's cool that you can do it. The fact that you could replace a first gen Ryzen with a third gen Ryzen Sounds amazing. But we should talk about that when we get to the 5700X. We will. But a lot of those people would just be better off just buying a Z690 board and a 12700K because the 12700KF is faster than a Ryzen 7 5700X. It is faster in many situations than a Ryzen 9 5900X. And don't hate me, it will beat a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D in some situations. Not all, 5800X 3D will, okay, you know what? At 1080p with an RTX 4090, the 5800X 3D will win. <laughs> Your eyes run across the table. Yeah, because it's so stupid. Anyway, all right. carrying on. What's our next one? What's our next one? Yeah. There we go. Our next one. Oh, the 12900K for 323? This has integrated graphics. If you want to step up above the i7 and you want to get six P, uh, 8P cores and 8E cores for $323, you add integrated graphics mm -hmm. and you add four more E cores. Now, yeah. on a dollar per performance basis, this is not as good a deal as the i7. However, there's two reasons, there's three reasons why somebody would want the 12900K versus the 12700KF. Integrated graphics matters to them. Mm -hmm. They multitask and have multiple monitors and maybe want to live stream and those e-cores will come in handy for that. Mm -hmm. And there is a personal ego reason, and ego is not a crime, you're okay to pay for it, to be able to say, I have an i9. Some people care about that. They do. The fact that the i7 13700K is faster than the i9 13, uh, 12900... Oh, I hate these five-digit product numbers. Ugh. Seriously, Intel, reset your product numbers and go back to four-digit product numbers. It's so much easier. It when, when we had 6700K, 8700K, 9900K, those were easy. Yeah. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used eWin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with eWin to bring you this special discount and recommend eWin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. 13700K is faster than the 12900K in all respects, 100% of the time, no matter what by a tiny amount, I'm mean 5%. But single core and multi-core beats it by 5%. But Good 5%. some people legitimately just, 
It's not a crime. I have an i9. I... That probably would have mattered to me when I was 20. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. There's another reason to buy the 12 900K versus a 13 700K. If you buy a 600 series board because they are cheaper, you are not guaranteed support out of the box for a 13th gen chip. Now, many of the boards have BIOS flashback, but the benefit to a 12900K, like I installed R12 uh, 700K on a Z690 ASRock Steel Legend. Yes. That board did not come with a BIOS out of the box that supports 13th gen. It did not. Now that board does have BIOS flashback. It's not that hard, but... Yeah, well, if you're not used to doing it. Yeah, it's not hard for me because I do it five times yeah, a year. exactly. But it's... if you it, The benefit is you can just literally... Just... Drop it in, go... You should still update your BIOS because the BIOS that was on our Z690 was quite old. But that's, that's a really good chip. Do you have anything else to add about this? Mm-mm. Nope. Oh, the 12900... K comes in a really awesome box. You know that round disc thing it in does, gold? Actually. And the box is quite large. It actually creates a cool display. The i7s come in a boring no, piece of cardboard. Yeah, it's true. 